And hopefully nothing crashes again so that I don't have to do this over again. Let's go ahead and try to fire this up right. Yo, what up, y'all? Eddie here on the Falibu channel. Today we're going to be checking out a little bit of Star Wars Squadrons in VR with my HOTAS. Going to be using my OG Vive, Vive wireless adapter, and uh, my Thrustmaster 4 HOTAS. I think it's the PS4 version, but it works with my PC, so that's what we're rolling with. If I can actually load into the game. But this is why we test. See how easy it is for me. If I can't stream this game very well, I might need new hard drive dome. I think I need to get a new solid state drive for some of the games that I enjoy streaming that are humongous. <laughs> like this one. Because I'm still hearing a black screen. I thought I was starting up, but maybe I'm not. Oh, and what happened there? It looks like I'm in dead space. Hold on. There we go. All right, that's not working. I might not be able to use that, but if I can't, then it's okay. Oh yeah, okay, that crashed. Let's see if I can. If OVR drop crashes me one more time, then I'm gonna run without it. But I really like. Uh, you're in a black hole, exactly. Let's try to fight our way out. Okay, I think I have everything running that I need. So now let's try to play. Uh, well, I don't actually need this OVR drop, but I really like it a lot. Okay, so welcome to the random daytime stream. I had like an hour to myself this afternoon. There's no virtual learning today. Uh, it's, we're on our own schedule, so I figured I'd do that stuff later. That's a problem for Falibu in the future. For now, let's play some games. Here we are in Star welcome, Wars welcome, Squadrons. Welcome. That disembodied voice is Vita. Vita. Yes, Master. Vita, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Vita. I am a virtual digital assistant and I volunteer to serve any and every need of my master. It's nice to meet you all. Thank you, darling. You're very welcome, sir. Dang it. Dang it. I'm sorry. It's okay, sir. You are only human but I am trying to help you with that. Can I get an uptime? On it, boss. Speech chat test. Comment at you from speech chat, sir. Okay, so it's going to be hard for me to run those voice commands because it tabs out of the game, and when it tabs out of the game, the game locks up. Okay, mental note. There we go. All right, let's continue with the story. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know, I've played this game for, I don't know, let's see. About nine hours now. Uh, mostly just derping around in the story. I think I've played like one or two multiplayer games. Uh, I enjoy it a lot, so let's just kick back into the story, pick up where I've left off. I'm on mission number four. Captain Teresa Carell has reassigned you to the Empire's Titan Squadron. A spy at Hosnian Prime has intel about the New Republic Secret Initiative, Project Starhawk. Go to Hosnian Prime and extract the spy. So, basically what we've been doing here is, uh, I I'm four missions in. Uh, I've been playing it in my spare time. Last night I was up in the middle of the night. I decided to play some more. It didn't hurt my neck too much, so I figured I would try to stream some, stream test some today. Uh, the last thing I did here in the story was uh, I captured a freaking battleship, and then I protected it. So, we're picking up where we left off. Let's check this out. We're reassigned to Empire's Titan Squadron. Let's go check out the new intel about Project Starhawk. Starhawk is where we've been going with all the stealing of the battleships and stuff. Apparently it was for a super secret, top secret project called Project Starhawk. Fly a support ship like a U-Wing or TIE Reaper. Oh, I only read half of that advice. That's going to hurt me in the long run, I think. Okay, ISD Overseer. Talcene System. has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. The common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. 
The rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron. Hunt down this Starhawk and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. It's me. Do they want to requisition me? I'm straight badass. My reputation precedes me all across the universe. <laughs> I'm not. Copy, so. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. That's the day. Let's go. Alright, Dome, let me know if the game audio is too loud or not loud enough. If I need to turn it up or turn it down or if it's just right. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan, finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. Alright, this game is pretty dope. I've been having so much fun with it inside of the headset. I figured I needed to show some people who aren't able to get in the headset just how dope this is. I'm not super great at the game, but I've gotten pretty good hang of the controls. I think I know what most of the buttons do without having to look at the cheat sheet. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun playing this. It all sounds good to you? Nice, nice, nice. Hell yeah. Let me know if it doesn't sound nice at some point. We're about to get into a match here and the audio settings might change. That was like a cutscene. That's how this game does cutscenes. Um, it's not too bad. It's basically just... I, I wish it was in 3D. That would be dope. But it would have also made the game like much huger. Would have made it so huge. So, you're our new wingmate. Yeah, what's up? Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, squadron leader. Alright, this is where they keep all the handsome gentlemen, huh? Room. Better make a good first impression. Let's do it. You know how me, I always make that good first impression. Let's go. Uh, you don't have it at full volume, though? Ah, okay, cool. Well, put me at full volume. Welcome home, pilot. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't do that. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven, doesn't it? I'll try to stay safe for work, One I promise. One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. Ah. Uh. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector. Protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of <coughs> posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Jabes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Lyndon. Your empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? I am willing. Good. So the irony is that and I'm... Now you will be flying as Titan 3. Let's get to work. Okay, Titan 3, let's go. So the irony of all of this is that it just had me flip sides. Previous to this mission, I was playing as the rebels who just stole the battleship that Are we ready to begin? is launching Project Starhawk. Now it's got me on the other side for the for the Empire uh, going to try to stop Project Starhawk. So that's an interesting plot twist. Oh, yo, what up, Miami Dirt? Welcome to the stream. Uh, volume seems fine. Same, I'm not at full volume, but also because I'm on a headset, so I usually have my desktop audio at 50%. Hey, Miami Dirt, for real, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, I'm just now testing this for the first time, so... I really appreciate any and all feedback. Thank you guys so much. You you guys are the real MVPs. All right, let's check out this briefing together. One of our spies, Agent Thorn, has Hopefully you're having a good day, Miami Dirt. Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni. By the way, I love that word derp. I use it Your all the time. I love it. Absolutely love it. Our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Okay. Behind enemy lines, Hold on, I need to restart this. I got ADHD, guys. I apologize. My mind was somewhere else. Has discovered vital intelligence on Project Derp. <laughs> One of our spies, Agent Thorn, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Okay. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Okay. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. 
We have no room for error, Titan. That's what all the ladies say about to me. Gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Just kidding. I've only been with one lady for 20 years. Intelligence reports <laughs> missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Oh, okay. Evade and eliminate them all. Let's blow those things up. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. Jeez, this is a lot of stuff to take in. Okay. <laughs> Uh, does anybody remember all of that stuff that I'm supposed to do? Uh, my derp says, yeah, I'm just trying to distract myself from work. Sorry, I know how it is getting distracted because of the derp. Ah, <laughs> uh, can relate, bruh, can relate. Uh, okay, so, we're just going to try to wing it, Captain Carol. I I'm going to pretend like I heard everything you said. Finger guns. Psh, psh, psh. And, uh, we're just going to peace on out of here. Hey, has soul. How you doing? What's up? What do you got? What kind of information you got for me? I'm Rella Soul. So no need to introduce yourself. You already know. I've already reviewed your service record. That's right. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. It's been a minute. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Well, let's get it. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. Stop telling me problems. In Tell me battle, solutions. We lost our emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. A hundred? When the Emperor Palpatine hadn't dissolved the Imperial Senate. At Never liked then, that guy, Palpatine. Senators, like my parents, could have maintained order after Oh, okay. Emperor. So you're a little bit privileged no. with your Senator parents, Not huh? that I question the Emperor's decision, of course. But now that he's gone, we must look to the future. Okay. And reinstating the Senate would help subdue all of this infighting. It's ironic that you say that as a Senator's we child. We talk later, perhaps. Okay. You don't see the irony. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that the way we're going? We're following Soul? What's up? Oh, I probably gotta talk to Captain Carol. Alright, Captain Carol, what else you got for me? Now more than ever, the Empire needs reliable soldiers like Agent I'm Thor, super reliable. Like you. That's right. Unity is the only path to progress. U-N-I-T-Y. I trust you are aligned with Admiral Sloan's vision the Empire. It spells unity. We cannot afford to fracture. Mm-mm, don't Not fracture anything. End all. This mission is a vital step towards dismantling the rebellion. Let's go. And they are a rebellion. I, Don't be fooled by the You're preaching to the choir. I was just the there. The Republic will fall, just like we the last We were rebellious one. as hell. It's time for you to play your part. <laughs> okay. Get to the hangar. Ready your ship. It's already ready. Let's go. Ready to go. Let's take it stock. Oh, oh! Only just don't lose the spy, Miami Derp. Okay, cool, cool. That seems like the main thing. All right, got you. Thank you for having my back on that one, Miami Derp. I te things tend to go in one ear and out the other. That's one of the reasons I don't stream a whole lot of uh, single-player games. I am very easily distracted. However, it's a pretty good recipe for multiplayer games, so we might end up in some pop one later today. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This is just my hour to myself, and I figured, ah, what better way to do it? I wanted to play some Star Wars anyways. I figured, uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the stream. Newcomer. I was actually thought about streaming it at like 3 o'clock in the morning last night, but I was Call like, ah, I don't know. Wake people up if they got my notifications on. <laughs> okay, helmet stays on. Got you, Holmes. Dang. Cybernetics keep me going. All cybernetics, Fight. huh? Fall. Get up. Fight again. I'm not even gonna lie, now I'm looking Fall. at you, I'm wondering which parts are human and which parts are cyborg. Advice. <coughs> Don't annoy Von Rack. Okay. Good talk. Sweet. Another time. I felt like it was very one sided, but I appreciated hearing your story, Holmes. All right, Waylon, what's up? What do you got for me? You'll be the new pilot. I Sergeant am. Sergeant Waylon, chief mechanic and head of the hangar crew. I don't see the appeal in flying myself, but I've been working on ties since they rolled off the assembly line. Okay. Your fight is in good hands. The overseer saw some action at Potho and JL, but it's had a complete inspection and overhaul for this mission. <laughs> so you're the used SARS, you're the used uh, tie salesman, huh? Every tie okay. In this been Sell me, bro. Tighten half the rivets myself. Really? All of them. Gotta so, say, so you're the guy I see when this thing starts rattling out there in space. 
Just hold plating between you and space. It must build character. Never met a TIE pilot who backed down from any challenge. Shields or not. Dude, look how small that ball is. I'm gonna be in there floating around in if space. You got a preferred component or need something customized, I'll take care of it. Just say the word. Okay, okay, you're the guy. Your I got you. Is ready. I appreciate you. Sweet. Talk to you later, Holmes. Alright, um Von Reg, what's up? You're the new arrival. Holy shit. You got some more I'm stories to tell me, huh? Reg. Titan can always use another pilot. So long as you're good at killing rebels. I'm the ace at right killing into rebels. The territory. Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like. At I'm the already distracted by the Roomba von Reg. You're gonna have to now, probably repeat this when the later. Rebellion murdered our Emperor. Ooh. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like no? my other commanders. I see. I see. Oh, what happened? I seem to have lost visuals in the headset. Did the game freeze or did my headset mess up? She knows all I need is a target. And we're back. Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. All right. But do your job and I'll have your back. Hey, this Wait chick's up. down. I like it. You're cool. I got your back. You got my back. I feel that. Let's go. Prepare for launch. The All right. Fighter. Classic. Maneuverable. Flexible. Can't take much direct fire, but that's no problem for a skilled pilot. I fly around the bullets. I don't really want to customize it. I've been liking to just go with the, the standard loadouts just because I'm still getting used to the game. So this is the Thai Lin Fighter. Uh, Ellen Fighter. The Thai Ellen Fighter is the unforgettable symbol of the Imperial fleet. It is designed for high-speed dogfights against starfighters and is flexible enough to challenge enemy capital ships. Sweet! Alright, so primary weapon here on the trigger. We got standard laser cannon, left auxiliary, that's my repair system over here. Uh, right auxiliary, concussion missile, that's uh, over here. Countermeasures, seeker warheads, I don't know where my... I think my countermeasures are over here on the throttle. And then hull, standard hull, engine, twin ion engines. Okay, so that's what we're working with. Let's go. Let's Your loadout, go. however, is not standard. And oh, okay. Again, neither are any of Titan Squadron's missions. Ain't nothing about me standard, homie. Let's go. Two, one, launching. All right, it looks like my frames are holding up at around 70 to 80. Which is to be expected. 90. Okay, 90 here in the cutscene. Let's see what it looks like in game. Let's get that action. Coming for the space booty. So, for those of y'all who don't know, a little bit of backstory about me. I come from, I'm a child of the 80s. I grew up with uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I absolutely loved that game. I had an N64. Uh, I played it like religiously for hundreds of hours. And so to be able to play this game in VR as an adult with uh, a HOTAS has been an incredible experience for me. Well worth the money 10 times over. I told my wife the other day, like, I know I haven't streamed this game, but I didn't buy this game to stream it. I bought this game because it was a personal dream of mine to do this for my whole freaking life. And it, it pays off for me. It, it totally scratches that itch. Okay, let's go. Titan, approach and eliminate the outpost's outer defenses. <sighs> All right, let's go eliminate some outer defenses and not let the spy die. I'm in position. Uh, Zulu FPS, damn my man, on game on X Games mode. Hey, thanks for the follow, Zulu. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, homie. Yeah, dude, we checking this out for the very first time today. I am loving it so far, dude. I got about eight or nine hours in. I'm still playing the mission mode, learning how to play the game. Oh, all right, let's go. Do some barrel rolls or what? 
It's like I have a Star Wars arcade in my house. Boom, got one. All right, let's go. Uh, good bro, you enjoyed a lot. Oh, for real, for like, I've only got about nine hours in the game so far, but uh, it has been absolutely amazing. I love everything about it. I've been enjoying the story mode. I've only done a little bit of the multiplayer, but that was really fun. And it is uh, pretty immersive, pretty dang immersive. I like it a lot. Ooh, I need shields, shields. Get out of here. Let's go. Zoom. 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 Bank it. And let's come right back in on him. Let's make another pass. Boom. Got another one. Alright. I just threw out some evasion missiles. Missiles evaded. What's up? Alright. Uh... I need a resupply. Come on, Shen. Get on my back. Get on my back. There we go. We're resupplied. All right. Where are we at? Got one more enemy. Let's find him. One more enemy right over here. Uh-oh. Their missile locked on me. All right, I evaded that missile. Now let's find this. Okay, we gotta go, what, destroy some stuff on this ship? That feels about right. That's what I like to see. That's right, let's go, Von Rigg. Our path is clear. Advance on the outpost. Out, advancing. That's how it's done, Titan. That's right, Gray. What? They breached our missile defenses. Okay, we got this, we got this. Take down those ties. I wish I could see the panic inside that station right now. We should take out the shield generator. Without it, the turbo lasers are Oh, hey, bro! Don't don't get in my line of fire, homie! Watch your backs. Okay, emergency power conversion. Unshielded ships like the TIE Fighter feature an emergency power converter, which allows the pilot to instantly convert all power from one system to the other. You can temporarily drain your engines for a surge of power to your primary weapon or drain your weapons to charge your boost thrusters. Oh, okay, well, how do I do that? Here, let's go. Hold seven to use the power converter. So it's five, six, seven, okay. POV right to select laser or engine and then set, uh, release seven to confirm. Okay. Gotta get out of here. Gotta shake him. Gotta shake him. Who's on my tail? Where are they at? Where are they at? Alright. Destroy this. Let's go. Destroy. Resupplied by Shen. Thanks a lot, Shen. You're the real MVP. I need more rockets, though, Shen. Give me rockets next time. All right, I cut all engines. We're going full lasers on this thing. Full, oh, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, all right, nailed it. Engines, go, 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 go. No, I'm at 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Get out, get out. Oh, I got destroyed. We're taking the F on that one, guys. We're taking the F. Oh, retry from checkpoint. Let's go. We're going to run it back. We're going to do it again. <laughs> All right. Now I understand a little bit more about the uh, power conversion mechanic. Clear landing zone. Okay. Uh, let's try weapons again.
bail. We gotta bail. Here we go. Ah, they're freaking everywhere. Oh, maybe I can hide here on the ship for just a second while I recharge my shields. No. Jen, help me! Hell yeah, I can. Let's go. Wow. I feel very hunted, Von Rig. Am I supposed to destroy all of these things? I think I am, but I can't. I can't even get close enough. Let's try again. Let's try again. All right, here we go. Focus fire on the outpost's turbo lasers. Okay, focus fire on the outpost defenses. They just want the foul. <laughs> That's right. All right, destroy outpost defenses. So let's. Here we go. Now I'm in range. Rockets. Let's destroy at least one. Boom. Okay, we got one. Let's move to the second one. Let's try to get a rocket on him before I bail out. Come on, one rocket. Let's go. Ah, okay, bailing out. Okay, we cleared one side, guys. We cleared one side, finally. Now we can get at least a little bit of relief. Let's ask Shen for a recharge. Oh, it is falling apart, Shen. Thank you. All right, let's go. I felt like those other TIE Fighters were shooting at me. I got a bail. I got a bail, guys. I got a bail. Shen, you got another resupply for me yet? What's going on, Shen? How you doing out there? No, I'm I'm a little hurt. Taking enemy fire. From where? We're with you. I'm hit. Impressive. I'm in 19. Let's see. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Okay, so it's these buttholes. Let's take out some of these, uh, what are they? A wings, X wings? Nice, Shen. Coming in clutch, bro. Missile locking. Incoming. Evasive maneuvers. Go. Missile evaded. Okay, let's go. We're coming back in on the ship now. Where? Which ones? Nice. 
No, that's friendly. Those are TIE Fighters. Okay. We need to clear some more of these things. Let's go. Got another one. Got another one. Let's go. Let's go. Got another one. Ah, uh, evade, evade, evade. Get out of here. My hoopty, my hoopty's under fire, yo. Yo, hey, yo, what man? What's Gucci? Hey, what's going on, you Gucci Designs? How you doing? How you doing? I'm being hunted. I need to resupply, Shen. Where you at? Where you at? I'm on your way. Thank you, Shen. You Thank you, Shen. Is that all you've got? Never get so. Bank it. Rebel scum. Bail, they're on to me. They don't like my shenanigans. Gotta get out of here. Shin, you still out there? I know I've been calling on you a lot, Shin. There we go. Get some repairs in. Thank you, Shin! Oh, Shin. On my tail, dang it. Legend grows. Takes care of that. I didn't need your help. It looked like it. It really looked like it. All right, we gotta kill off some more of these defenses. Let's go. Oh. Jeez, Louise, gotta get out of here. I'm hurt. Shen. Shen, help me, Shen. Shen, coming in clutch. Evasive maneuvers. Need to shake him. The outpost is defenseless. Titan, this is Shuttle Gladius, inbound for extraction. We read you, Gladius. Titan will run. 
rendezvous with these coordinates. Oh, there we go. I just had to survive. My homies helped me out. Now who's hunting who? Dang it, Shin has been saving my freaking butt on this one. Where are these guys at? Oh, I gotta reach that. Okay, let's go. I can reach that. We got this, y'all. Really wish I had a Hotas LMAO squadrons and VR and all, but like Hotas are sold out. They were! You're exactly right, Uchi Designs. To tell you the truth, I was very lucky to get the one that I got. Uh, I actually bought the game before I had a Hotas because they were sold out everywhere. But, uh. I had some family a town away, and they happened to be at a game store one day, and they called me and they're like, We found one, and it's 80 bucks. And I was like, You know what? I'm down. Sign me up, get it for me if you can. And they totally did. And it was dope, and I've been loving it ever since. Totally worth it. It makes me feel like I have a Star Wars arcade in my house. All right. This shuttle. Watch and learn. Okay, let's go. Shuttle's under attack. I need to protect the shuttle a little bit better. Can't get in range. I need to get in range. I got out of range. This was poor planning. Ah, I got too far out of range. That shuttle flew away from me. Stay with the group, bro. All right, let's try it again. We're going to run it back. We're going to do it again. The escort's going to get there this time. We'll keep you safe, Gladius. Let's get you to the outpost. I'm going to catch up to it though this time. Let's stay right on his butt. We'll be gone before the rebel fleet. Everybody protect him. I just gave the command for everybody to protect him. Heads up, squadron. Enemy A-wings are deploying from the station. Don't let them intercept our shuttle. The shuttle is under attack. Oh, I accidentally shot at the shuttle. Nobody saw that. Insurance is going to cover it. As long as nobody tells the Emperor, I think it'll be okay, though. What? There they are. That's right. We 
with you. Good. That's the last of the starfighters. That's right, it is. All right, going weapons hot. Cutting all power from the engines. All power has been diverted to my blast, my thrusters, or my blasters. We're gonna blast through some of these guys. Am I supposed to go in there with him? I'm gonna just chill right here. Oh, okay. Initiating extraction. Imperial shuttle has landed. They're storming the outpost. It sounds like they're doing work in there. We're en route to Agent Thorne's location. Stand by. Are you ready to retreat? Why flee when we could blast the station to dust? Escaping with Agent Thorne is Captain Carroll's strategy. We gain nothing by destroying a single outpost. More enemy fighters inbound. What's up? Bring it. Here we go. Only to die in space. Shoot them all down. Yo, what up, my Empire pilot? <laughs> Yo, what up, my Empire pilot? How you doing? How you doing? That's my boy, Man Jeezy. How you doing, Man Jeezy? We're out here holding it down in the universe, out here in the galaxy. Trying to keep it straight gangster all across space. Chilling. I see you a real gangster in the X Wing. <laughs> Hell yeah! I just got it. I've been trying to learn how to fly it a little bit better. I think we're getting the hang of it. Got to hide for a minute. Did Ooh. it come with the joystick? Oh, it didn't, but uh, I luckily I was able to find one. It's been super hard to find them lately, but I got this uh, Thrustmaster 4 for like 80 bucks from a GameStop. It was like the only one they had. More fighters coming our way. All right, let's go. More fighters. Let's get them. Shin, I need you, Shin. There we go. Shin's got my back. That are just missile locking on to me everywhere. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to evade all of these people, and my teammates don't seem to have my back. Dang it! Ah, we're gonna take the F on that one too. Retry from that checkpoint. That didn't happen. We're gonna run it back. We're gonna do it again. Uh, <laughs> uh, can you fly rebel ships? Yeah, for real. Stone the original. To tell you the truth, this is the first time I'm only on mission four. This is only the first time I've played as a rebel. Before, prior to this, the mission that I was doing was to actually set up what's happening right now uh, so I'm in a TIE fighter working for the Empire literally undoing the mission that I just did as the rebels a moment ago before this mission you 
You cannot win. Shen, I need you now, Shen. There. Now back in the fight. I suppose I should thank you. Rebel fighter is locked on. Thank me later. Thank me now. I want to thank you now. Thank you, Shen. Thank you, Shen. <laughs> <laughs> Shen has my back so hard. Everybody needs a Shen, I think. Alright, we did it. High fives, boys. Psh. We totally did it. Titan, this is Agent First try. Four. That's the way I'm gonna tell the story. It's good to know my life is we did it, y'all. Power up. He's on fire. Alright. Swoon. Cool off, sir. Alright, regroup with the shuttle Gladius. Where are you at, Gladius? Yeah, having the joystick Hotas has been super freaking awesome. I mean, I, I imagine the game might be a little bit easier with an Xbox controller, but there's the immersion level. The immersion level is just right on point. Dang it! Shen! Where are you at, Shen? Oh, I didn't... I forgot about the escort, guys. Dang it! Dang it! Alright, let's try it a little bit harder. Escort. I'm on your back this time, guy. It's me and you. Alright. Uh, it seems like these guys can shoot much further than me, though. Okay, I gotta... Take out the fighters. Okay. I mean, they are big ships with bigger guns. <laughs> they totally are, but it's so not fair. <laughs> See, like, okay, he's still got... Okay, maybe I just got to protect him from the little ships. I tried to blow up the bigger ships, but I couldn't do it. So let's see what kind of work we can do on these littler ships. All right, Thorn. I thought I was doing so good that time, guys. Uh, my majors, yeah, they totally, totally, totally are. Okay, so, I don't know. Do I have to blow... I wonder if I have to blow these up somehow. That's 1,500 units away. Okay, well, it's in range. Let's see if I can blow it up. Weapons. Hey, thanks for the follow, Stone, the original. I appreciate it, homie. Under enemy fire. Oh, 
Enemy locked off. All right, let's lock back onto them. Better luck next time. Louise, look, they're just... It's over, Titan. Oh, they just destroyed those long-range warships. Okay, I don't think there's anything I can do about those long-range warships. I did two passes on that one with minimal, minimal to no effect. So, I think he's just going to have to take those warships, and it's just going to be my job to try to keep the fighters off of them. So, let's try to do that a little bit better this time, and see if we can't catch some success. We're going uh, all power to thrusters. I mean to blasters. Actually, we can't. No. Okay. Uh, if I do, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose ground. We're we're getting too far behind. Uh, Sabby, hey, oh, how are you, Woot Squadrons? Hell yes, yeah, Sabby, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Oh, I'm loving it so far. My inner empire nerd is totally coming out and I'm feeling it. Uh, how do I get Agent Thorn back to the Overseer from these... Okay, maybe I just gotta take all these shots for him. Okay, yeah, look, I've distracted these. They're all shooting at me now. Shoot at me. Shoot at me. No! I cannot save Agent Thorn. I don't even know how. I don't know how. <laughs> Doing well, been staying busy, but taking time to relax sometimes. Excellent! That is great to hear, Sabby. Hell yeah. I was actually ahead of VR for like a week, week and a half with a neck injury. I've been playing lots of that. Population 1 lately. Hell yeah! That's uh... Oh, hey, I made it to a freaking new checkpoint. Nice! Yeah, this is uh, the Hotus, the Flight Thrustmaster. It makes me feel like I have a freaking Star Wars arcade in my house, yo. Oh, yeah, it's getting a little bit better. It's getting a little bit better. So I've been finding myself trying to get back in more into VR right now. Still a little bit, still a little bit, a little bit sore, but the seated games seem to be okay. Even this one that has me rotate in like a million different directions. <laughs> All right, let's escort Thorn. We got this. What? A freaking frigate? Evade the lasers. Ah, okay. It's great advice. No, man. Agent Thorn is not happy with me, y'all. Uh, no, actually, Sabby, Sabby asks, did you get injured from VR? To tell you the truth, actually, because uh, I, I, I couldn't figure out how it happened. It didn't happen all right away. Like, it got hurt a little bit, and then I didn't take it seriously, and then I ended up hurting it a lot. I What I traced it back to, though, is that uh, I got into, like, a little bit of a wrestling match with a goat we have here at the house, like, oh, two weeks ago. And apparently, one of the times I was fighting him, we took the fight to the ground. And uh, when I got him subdued... I, I picked him up and like hand delivered him back to his pen and when I did that apparently I pulled a muscle in my neck or my back and I didn't realize how bad I had pulled it and then I got and then I got into VR and uh, exacerbated the the muscle freaking thorn he's dead there's no way I can help you thorn Yeah, and so then I jumped into Population 1 and I went all super hard, super sweaty one day and uh, exacerbated that muscle pool. 
And then that put me out for like a week. I'm just starting to get back into VR. Again. Oh, like almost two weeks actually. I'm just starting to get back into VR. Population 1 is probably my new favorite game at the moment, but I love this one a lot for single player experience since I don't have a lot of time. I, I with well, Population 1, I get caught in the one more time loop. And I end up, oh, Agent Thorn, I apologize, bro. Agent, we can't save Agent Thorn today. Uh, oh, yes, heavy. Uh, that pesky goat, that's right, Mammy Dirt. Oh, man, that goat, he's so wily. Goats are wily. Like, we raise goats for like half the year over here as a family. My kids show them in the 4 8 show for, for competition. And uh, we do it every year, but this year, man, this goat has gotten out of his pen more times than any other goat in the past. That's because this year we only have one. We usually have more than that. There we go. All right, what's up? Where's up? Where's more enemies? I need more enemies. Friggin' frigates! Evasive maneuvers. Guys, I think I should have been an astronaut. You know I got an iron stomach for this? Like, no motion sickness at all. I could do this all day, I think. Frickin' Thorn! You know what I can do all day? Save Thorn. <laughs> Uh, hopefully all of you all friends find yourselves in better health. I'm getting back in there though. Actually, to tell you the truth, I played some Pop 1 uh, the day before yesterday. And it was the first day I was able to raise a baseball bat out to shoulder level. And then uh, I was expecting to be regretting it the next day. But to tell you the truth, I made more progress between the day before yesterday and today than I had between any other two days prior to that. So, the exercise, I think, actually did a little bit well, you know what I mean? Where's the enemies at? Oh, the friggin' frigate! There we go, there we go. Uh, yes, GTA circulate. Oh, yeah, I gotta just circulate the blood into the muscles. Exactly. I was expecting, I was seriously expecting to regret it the very next day, but it felt so much better after getting that little bit of exercise. So I decided not to push it, but uh, I'm definitely gonna exercise to try to get it back a little bit more. So I guess that's kind of what I'm doing here right now, testing out the stream on this seated VR game. While uh, I've also I played this game for about nine hours without ever streaming a single minute of it. And uh, I love the game. I just I hadn't streamed much of it because I don't stream a whole lot of single player games because I have a really short attention span. So I mainly just play like whenever I get like an hour here, hour there, stuff like that. But uh, almost, but not quite. I played last night and I really wanted to stream, so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try to test stream this game. Might end up playing some more Pop One later today. But since I only had like an hour, which, what are we at? Oh, we're actually just at about an over an hour. Let's see if I can actually finish this mission. Missiles evaded. And I'm resupplied by Shen. And we're going full engines. And we're just boosting on out of here. And we hit our checkpoint. Oh no. I thought I was gonna warp out of here. Didn't happen. Uh oh. Go, 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 go! No quit, all go boys, let's get it! What's up, Gray? I'm one of the OGs now, y'all. I'm one of the OGs, they accepted me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm so glad you're still streaming. Aw, oh, Sabby says, I'm so glad you're still streaming. You're an OG streamer. Sabby, you are too freaking awesome. 
And you know whenever I think of world-class artists in VR, you're the first person that comes to my mind. Absolutely every time. Ah, lots of love. I've got I got goosebumps. Thank you for those warm vibes, Savvy. Ah, you're the real MVP for making me feel so good. Well, I, I don't deserve friends like you. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. All right, mission complete. Nice. Hell yeah, Savvy. Lots of fellow love. Lots of fellow love. Uh, it says mission complete. Finally, you have successfully extracted Agent Thorn from the heart of the enemy territory. With luck, her information will lead Titan Squadron to the location of Project Starhawk. Ah, guys, it was a whirlwind. It was I was on a roller coaster of emotions that entire time. I felt robbed so many times, but we're it's a learning experience. We can, I'm so glad we got through it together. Uh, and I feel I feel great about all of it. I felt I had an amazing time. I don't know what it looked like in the stream. I only plan to go for about an hour right now, but uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm really excited to see what it looked like. Uh, anybody in the stream, you're so awesome and savvy. You, no, you are. <laughs> you're awesome. Uh, woo! Finally, GG. Hell yeah, Miami Dirt. I know, Miami Dirt, bro. You've been hanging out with me since the very freaking beginning. You watched me derp through that whole mission. But we got through it together. We got through it together, y'all. I'm super excited. Super excited. I don't even have my heart monitor on. My freaking son. I, I have my, my charger for my Apple Watch over here on my desk. And apparently, I put my, my, my watch on the charger. My son thought it was cool to just take my, my watch off, put his watch on. I did, I, but I, I'm pretty sure if I had it on, you guys would have seen. I felt, I felt like it was about 1:30. I think we got up to like 1:30, 1:40, doing some of those evasive maneuver barrel rolls while I was this little freaking space station here. When I was like, I don't know if you guys could tell, because I, I still haven't seen any real uh, of my own Star Wars squadron footage, so I don't know what got displayed. But there was one part where I was just getting my butt handed to me and I flew around that space station and I stopped and I hid long enough for my, my uh, shields to recharge and then I flew back out for a second pass and I don't, I don't remember if that was the, the one where we actually got through it but uh, it, it felt amazing. It felt amazing like... You always watch the movie, or at least me, I always watch the movies and I thought, okay, there's no way like you're just going to do some of these things. But no, when you're actually in the situation, like the VR, the, the HOTAS, the, it's next level immersion. I've said it many times over the course of the stream, I feel like I have a Star Wars arcade inside of my house. And there was a lot of situations where in the heat of the battle, you forget you're playing a video game, you feel like you're there. And some of those split-second decisions are to just stop and hide on the ship that you're tasked to destroy just long enough to be able to build your resources back enough to be able to complete your mission of destroying that ship that you're hiding on. And I think that's a super surreal, interesting concept to think about. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's see. Uh, Sabby gave me an uptime there. We were actually just hit live for about 1 hour 11 minutes, which was just long enough to actually complete one mission for me after multiple failures. Uh, I feel like we're going to call it an absolute success though. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys in the stream uh, have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback. If you see anything that I could have done, that I, uh, that I anything that I did do that I could have done better. Uh, feel free to get at me. Let me know. Uh, give me some feedback. If you're not comfortable here doing it on the stream, shoot me a message on Discord. I'm usually available uh, to chat about it. But I, I feel like it went real well. I can't wait to check it out. And uh, I have nothing else. I'll check it out. And if there's anything I can do better next time, I'll definitely try to do it. Maybe if nothing else, I'll try to squeeze in at least like a mission or two. Whenever I get an hour in the early morning or afternoon, I kind of, and the late afternoon is really my prime. That's where I get the time to just run around my house like uh, like, an accent, like an actual demon just in VR full room scale space. So I think probably later today I'm going to end up back here on the stream with some population one. At least that's the plan. Uh, so for anybody who's got the time, definitely something I'd like to say here on the stream. For, I know we got a couple of new followers here today. Uh, let me introduce myself properly. I am Eddie. This is the Falibu channel. We tend to do a lot of VR related stuff here on the stream. Um, I'm a real random streamer. I don't have a schedule, but I like to play VR a lot and I try to press the stream button every chance I can. Um, I basically just like to offer a window into the world that is my life and how I like to play VR. So it's not a super, 
I, I don't get me wrong. I love to do like over the top uh, production stuff, but really this is just real life. I'm just a guy who likes VR. I got an awesome setup in my living room slash uh, office slash VR studio space. And this is how I like to use that time. So I like to welcome myself to you. Uh, another welcome, thing I like to welcome. say for all the new people who follow today, uh, if you're following the channel, if you ever see that notification, it's no obligation, no open invitation to come on in and hang out with your homeboy Fallaboon. We're going to have a real good time when you do. And my battery just died. I literally budgeted just enough time. Uh, you know what? Let's get some. Let's get a little bit of FaceTime here. I literally, I, I talk a little bit too much, and I budgeted just under the amount of time that I actually needed to get out of this stream. So uh, I guess this is about as good a time as any to call it quits, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if uh, let's see if some of my let's see if some of my cool streamer stuff over here actually works. Oh, that one. My camera's not perfect over there. We got a little bit of peakage. Let me fix it real quick. Let's be real professional. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. There we go. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to go ahead and wrap me up. I appreciate all the company. Thanks for everybody who had a chance to drop by the stream. Miami Derp, Savvy Life, uh, Yuchi Designs. You guys are all freaking amazing. I appreciate the company. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys, for real, you have some awesome vibes. I am too lucky to have uh, people so awesome come and hang out with me, even just to say hi. It was a pleasure to see you, and uh, I hope to see you again next time. Until then, y'all take care. Love, a peace, and chicken grease. A we out, y'all. Deuces. <laughs> see y'all next time. Bye, bye, bye. Man, Jeezy. We're going to catch up again real soon, Holmes. Keep it gangster till then, homie. <laughs> take care, y'all. And we out.